Hello school counselors and school counselors to be. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel, The Inspiring School Counselor. And today I want to show you guys what I am working on um, for students at my school. Some of the faculty and staff is assigned a bulletin board around the school that they have to decorate. And so obviously I have one of the bulletin boards and so this is my month of April and so I have to come up with you know a theme or something to decorate the board for the students and teachers and parents whoever comes in the building that they'll be able to see which I actually think this is a really good idea to keep something going um, on the bulletin boards instead of them staying like clear so if you are a principal watching this um, or maybe you are a school counselor and you want to get involved in decorating the bulletin boards, uh, a bulletin board, then this could be something that you can do. So I'm doing a spring theme. So I actually was looking on Pinterest because I was like, I don't know how I'm going to decorate this board. And I actually ended up forgetting about it. And I'm so thankful for one of the other teachers that reminded me. And so now I had to get on it. But I was looking through um pinterest and i was able to find one of the bulletin boards that i really liked well, there was a lot that i liked but something that i would be it's easy for me to just get together and put up um i'm just going to tweak the word a little bit the words a little bit and kind of put my own little twist on it so let me show you guys so these are the bulletin boards that I came across on Pinterest and there was like a whole lot of bulletin boards that I loved, but some of them just was really extravagant and I don't really have enough time to really just put a whole lot into the bulletin board because it's already in April and I've already wasted like eight days. So I wanted to find something that was just very simple. And so that's why I picked these three bulletin boards. Now. I'm ultimately going to choose the sprinkle kindness everywhere just because it doesn't require for me to do a whole lot of like cutting out um, as far as like the words. And I'm actually going to change sprinkle into spring kindness everywhere because obviously it's April, we're in spring. And I'm gonna just change all those like different color rectangles. I'm gonna, instead of doing those little sprinkles, I'm gonna do flowers and I'm going to put on the flowers um, different acts of kindness so I am so excited that I did come across this I'm just going to add my own little flair to it to fit my theme um, that I'm doing for April and yeah so I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like you guys so I have my word document open and all I did here was just put my letters sorry you guys all i did here is put my letters on each page so it's spring it spells out spring um and then the next word is everywhere and then i'm going to do something separate for kindness in order to get my letters this big as you guys can see i made it um i made the font size 750 and so it's just right that fits on the page um and then i just used the playbill um font so um when i'm thinking i might add a little bit of flair to it and maybe do like a border and cut out the border i don't know even though i said to myself that i didn't want to do a whole lot of cutting out but now that i'm doing this it's like wait a minute i think i might want to add a little bit of something so i just wanted to show you guys what i have thus far i also have my different color paper um i'm going to actually cut these out um, in order to do my flowers. So I want kind of like a rainbow type of thing going on so it can be colorful and nice. So I'm gonna get ready to cut those out as well. Right, so as you guys can see it is not perfect but that's okay because i'm not going for like a perfect type of flower um but i'm going to allow this to be my tracer then go from there so let's go ahead and start cutting all 
All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna see how it's gonna go if I just first trace it and then gather a lot of papers together and then cut it. So we'll see how it goes. Because I just think that other way that I was doing it, it was a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna see how this way goes. Alright, so all of these are done. I have glued all of the letters on here. So that part is done. So thus far we have the letters done, the flowers done, and my border. So now I need to make the sun. Alright you guys, so I just wanted to show you the blank canvas that I had to work with. I was able to cut out my sun, I was able to cut out my clouds, and um, I also had these big sheets of paper, um, and I used the green um, and the blue to set the scenery. And as you guys can see, it ended up coming together. And I also decided to change the border. So instead of using like all those different colored dots, I wanted to use this border that I was able to get from the art teacher um, that show like the hands. And it kind of just signifies like it's a helping hand to spring up kindness everywhere. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product, and I'm so happy that it came together. Um, and I just can't wait to see the 
actions on the kids' faces. I actually had one already said, man, Ms. Burr, you're doing a good job. So that was awesome.